there are three types of Kashmir to see. One is what the media shows you. Two is what tourists see. And the third is what locals and travelers see. Nature has bestowed Kashmir with all its natural beauty. Across my many trips here, I've explored all the major tourist spots numerous times, including some of its offbeat places in far-flung remote regions. Having visited its ancient shrines in the old city many times, this place often pulls me back here on every trip. This time around, I decided to do a bit more exploration and spend my day strolling down its old alleys. Are you ready to see a side of Kashmir you haven't seen before? Hop on as I take you through the old city of Srinagar, as I return to some of these beautiful shrines and also discover some more of its hidden gems. Let's begin our journey with the Jamia Masjid. Located in Nauhatta, also called as downtown, Jamia Masjid is the biggest mosque in the Kashmir Valley and amongst the top tourist attractions in Srinagar. The mosque's prime location, impressive architecture, large size, as well as historical and religious importance makes it quite a popular place to see in Srinagar. This beautiful mosque has existed since 1400 AD. It is regarded as one of the most important mosques in Kashmir. Built in Indo-Sassanic style of architecture, the magnificent courtyard with 370 wooden pillars add to the charm of Jamia Masjid. The mosque is large in size and can accommodate 33,333 worshippers at a time. coming into the old city and behind me is Khankai Mola which I have been at least three times to but uh, yeah just look at these houses here they're like super old I love coming into the old city it's a different vibe just see the houses here at the back and these places are bustling with people and they're crowded and very narrow alleys but my favorite thing to do is go into the old markets. That's where you actually know what the true essence of a city is. Well, I came back to the rose water shop, which I always come on every trip to get at least a bottle of rose water. And unfortunately today, he's closed. This really old shop with an old chacha sits here and makes amazing rose water, the traditional way. But I just found out from the shops at the side and it seems that he's got a wedding in the family so his shop has been shut for a couple of days. So I'm still here for a few days. I'm going to try and come back here and um, hopefully I'll be able to show you all what's inside. I mean, I have have shown this place but the, pitch, the images weren't very clear and it's in my tulip uh, uh, video vlog. But uh, I thought I would cover this place again this time and you know do a better coverage. But unfortunately, he's closed. So... Let's see, I hope I'm lucky when I come back in a few days. Less than a kilometer away from Jamia Masjid lies the Khan Khai Mola, situated on the banks of the river Jhelum. One of the oldest Muslim shrines in Kashmir the Khankai Mola was built in 1395. The Khanka is a wooden structure whose chief aesthetic feature is its beautiful carved eaves and hanging bells. The interiors are richly carved and painted and the antique chandeliers give it an air of opulence. The Khankai Mola is dedicated to the Muslim preacher Mir Saeed Ali Hamdani. In the 
center of Khaniar, surrounded by a large market, lies the Skir Sahib, a 200-year-old shrine. This shrine was badly damaged in a fire on 25th June 2012. The relics of a saint that were located inside a fireproof vault were not damaged. The shrine has, however, been restored to its original state and glorious interiors. I was passing through the old city and I happened to stumble upon this beautiful sh shrine. Apparently it's called Bulbul Lankar Shrine. I don't know anything much so I'm going to go and check out the board and read. But I just went inside and it is beautiful. I mean the woodwork is absolutely stunning. I'm going to give you all a glimpse of that in just a minute. So I took a walk around the entire shrine and the Jhelum River is just there at the back. Yeah, that side there, there's some kids playing there and just behind that is the Jhelum River. And this is made out of stone and wood. One of the caretakers here just told me that this shrine is uh, uh, of a person who actually brought, uh, he was the first person to bring Islam to, uh, to the Kashmir Valley. So he was a Buddhist who converted to Islam. So let's go and try and find out something. But yeah, see, that's what I like, you know, just passing through these old through the old city this is the actual mosque here at the back so this is a mosque this is a shrine and out here is the old city with beautiful buildings i mean just look at that i i just love you know going through these old city alleys so let's go and find out a little bit more from the board just outside and i'll give you all a tour of the place inside they have a separate section for the ladies so i could go inside and i went in and had a look Now my auto driver has brought me to another place. I have seen some photographs of this place but it completely slipped my mind and I love going to these really ancient places and here it is. I think it's called Zainai Kadal but uh, I hope I got the pronunciation right but just look at that how beautiful it is. I mean it looks like a very ancient uh, structure and it's a protected monument. I mean there are archaeological survey of India boards put up over here. So I'm going to go and take a walk around and let's see, I mean, again, I don't know anything much about this place and it's supposed to be a tomb. Nevertheless, I'm going to enjoy just taking a walk and marvel at its beautiful structure. back a week later and the shop is closed again but unfortunately it's because today is a Sunday so tomorrow again is the last day I'm here uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it let's see I'll keep my fingers crossed if I get the time I'll try and make a quick visit here so 
I'm at Imran's cafe and if you're in Srinagar, you have to try the tuj. This is what is known as Kashmiri barbecue and it comes with a whole lot of different kinds of dips and chutneys. So there's like some walnut chutney, there's um, I think some yogurt, carrot, mint, so all kinds of and it's to be had with this roti and some dips. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye for now.